I welcome you all to our brand new episode of The Business Queens. Today we have on the show Miss Novamita Mazumdar. She is the founder of Novamita.com as well as she is the President's Awardee recipient of 100 Women Achievers Awardee from the Ministry of Women and Child Development. She is an XLRI Jamshedpur alumni and she is also the winner of Rajmata Samman. So, Novomita, I welcome you to today's show. Thank you so much for taking out time. Thank you. What an honor being in your show. Ishlinji, I have a huge respect for the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for creating a platform, giving an option for to voice what voice our journey, voice our insight, and connecting so many who, who can do a lot better. And I, I'm really looking forward to those success stories in future. Thank you so much. That's my pleasure indeed. So, Novomita, tell us your story behind Novomita.com. How did you come up with this idea? Okay. Uh, interestingly, uh, my first product was um, was a concept, right, uh, which was uh, building online communities. Uh, in, uh, it was my final year at XLA, right? And um, Dr. Madhukar Shukla, I met him after a presentation on communities, which was all about um, how communities were made back in back back in time. But then I did not like it. So sir, sir said that why don't you create a community which is anonymous? I mean, uh, free to use. And he gave me a revolutionary idea. I loved it. Once I started. Um, looking for that kind of a concept i did come across a website which was doing similar something similar to what he said and then started my community building journey in 2016 i moved on to build novomita.com which is the platform an evangelist platform that i am running right now um it's a platform wherein we are evangelizing brands cause um companies and events so what we do is we have a um, we have many communities. We just don't have one community. We just don't have uh, one particular niche group. And depending on, I mean, what can be, what can be communicated, we can connect with the community. For, um, I mean, for an example, uh, you have a product and you think your product is doing A, B, C, D, but you know what? Your users will say that your product is actually X, Y, Z. That's exactly what we bring forth. We bring the user's voice up in defining the product, in um, serving the product, which creates engagement and the brand loyalty is far bigger than uh, what you can imagine. We have been working with products uh, right from technology, AI, machine. We have served almost every sector. We have worked with more than 150 brands so far. So it's been a great journey. And uh, yes, we are grateful. We have uh our our um our voice is heard by 66 million worldwide so uh yes that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of impact that we are grateful to have been creating and uh we look forward to this journey even further and obviously the kind of support that we have from industry bodies, chamber of commerce, and um, organizations, which I used to dream of it as as a kid, such as United Nations and Bombay Stock Exchange, and all these organizations which every entrepreneur dreams of. I'm grateful to have such support from them, and of course, not the least, never the least. Without them, none of our none, nothing in our country would work. That's the government of India amazing support from the ministry i have received from several ministry ministry of msme ministry of finance ministry of women and child development i can go on i'm sorry i'm taking your time but then the kind of impact that they are creating the kind of eagerness that they have towards building a um an industry it's infectious i mean the moment i start, how can i stop so here i am thank you Rishlin. 
Yeah. So, you know, as a business coach and consultant, I work with a lot of women entrepreneurs and when they are in the beginning of their journey, like I would say initial one to two years, they really lack these efforts, you know, of networking and community building. So what do you think, how important is networking and community building for small and medium business owners? Okay. Since you said women entrepreneurs, let me start, begin with that, that women have a greatest strength which they do not realize and that is empathy mm. right uh we, we tend to sense something which has not been said we tend to bring in bring something on the table which was not even explained or not even expected so that's exactly where i urge my fellow women entrepreneurs that building community is trust me something that you would do naturally right you wake up in the morning you do your manage your home you manage your kids Think about it. These are different groups of people. These are different groups of um, entirely, I mean, I, I can say users or consumers, but think about it. That's exactly who they are. And you are the only common thread running through the entire day uh, of your home, of your social life, of your business, of your personal life, your studies. You're the common thread. Community building is naturally to you. Yes. But then uh, individual, since I'm a woman too, uh, we tend to think of our flaws more than we think of our um, of our strength. Agree. Believe that okay, if we are standing in the room, nobody is going to talk to us. If we are um, trying to prove a point, people will uh, argue and debate and reject it, which is definitely a, a reality mostly. We are not even allowed to finish our sentence. But then we are women, right? We do not. Nature design does that way. And that's exactly what our strength is. We let them. We let them interrupt. We let them reject us. We still go and find people who will listen to us. We still go and find the uh, the evangelists, the supporters. And that's exactly how we build our sponsors, how we build our networks, and how we build. Because the thing is, as a woman, I think it comes naturally to see a common, a common cause, a burning problem, which needs a solution. So... There you go. I mean, I, I mean, seriously. Yes, you may not brand it, but trust me, as a woman, you have been building communities around all your life. Just open your eyes and see it. That's it. right. And you know, you have uh, talk, you have talked about very important thing, which is we are cut when we are speaking. We are given a lot of suggestions. Most of them are unwanted. And, you know, when I work as a business coach with women entrepreneurs, many of them say the same thing. They say, like, we feel so comfortable talking to you. At least you listen to us properly because they have tried working with men counterparts and somehow, and I'm not blaming any men counterpart. It's just about their conditioning. They have been conditioned in such a way that they are somehow superior to women. They know better than women. But I feel so proud and I feel so happy. It gives me immense pleasure when I see women coming up, coming out of their comfort zone, starting their own businesses, you know, and standing standing in front of men counterparts and telling them, yes, we can also do this. And they're handling their families so well. They're handling so many things together. So this is very, very important. And you're building a community and networking again if as a woman, I talk about it, initially, we all have a kind of hitch when it comes to, you know, networking with people. But gradually, it goes away. And networking and community building is something which really plays a very important role in that. Okay, so now, now what do you think about social media? Like, on social media, we have good number of communities that are available. So as a woman, how should I choose which community I shall be the part of? Because if I go to social media, I can see thousands of them. So what is the right way of choosing the right community for me? Okay. Uh, first is obviously your comfort zone, but then don't depend on it because it's the message which is more powerful than you and your, your weakness. Mm -hmm. Anywhere, right? If you are trying to reach out to a group of professionals for... Uh, for well, let's say a job interview, hmm. right? You want to empower people to crack a job interview, which you know how to do it. You have to reach out to LinkedIn, right? It, it is your community. If you have a great product and you can showcase, you know how, how to sell it. Your Instagram is your, is your platform. 
you crack an Instagram, you get selling. I mean, I can give you an example of an MBA student who uh, didn't like the job that she received after MBA. Mostly these jobs after an MBA are pretty daunting. Mm -hmm. So it did not inspire her. She loves, she loves making jewelries. She started building, she started selling those jewelry she handmade and she earns a lot more than an MBA job could uh, could uh, offer her in a in a month. In fact, she had orders from these large e-commerce, um, these large e-commerce platforms, mm -hmm. which she couldn't deliver because she needed funding for that. Think about it. I mean, think, this is the kind of opportunities that you can create, you know, uh, once, once you are targeting the right platform. Mm -hmm. Facebook is an excellent, excellent platform for women. Trust me, uh, no matter how many times business community may make fun of Facebook, you will buy, irrespective of your gender, irrespective of your age, you will buy something if you see your friend connect talking about it, just, just randomly, hmm. right? If they post a picture on Facebook with a product in hand that they had just bought or they're just, uh, I mean, they're just enjoying with their friends, you will buy it over the product that you have, uh, ge I'm generally buying it. Right. So Facebook has an immense potential on influencing and mostly it is understated, mm -hmm. right? So attack Facebook, look at Facebook. How can you, um, how can you target people? How can you design your messaging? That's, that's exactly where your entire strength lies. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other platforms too. YouTube is a great, great platform, even though it may not be too, um, too beneficial or too um, profitable for the creators. But trust me, if you do not even spend right on uh, your shooting, on your uh, editing, if you learn it, if you do it on your own, you can create a a, a completely loyal followership, a loyal viewership. But depending on what messaging you are doing, YouTube has a good potential. Uh, you may not, may may not use the entire advertisement program of YouTube. I'm not advocating that. I have never done that. Mm. I have never spent even one time on YouTube and I'm more than 71,000 views on YouTube without any editing cost, without any, um, my videos are shot on my, on my mobile phone and on my, uh, yeah, that's it. I do not spend anything on the camera. I do not spend anything on the editing. Editing I learned on my own. And I'm just creating videos which are very normal, very usual, right? And everybody would love to watch it because they associate with it. That's all you have to keep in mind. So these are the kind of first kind of view platforms. There are a couple of more platforms that I have in mind. Um, Ishreen, I'll leave those uh, areas with you because those those will require a little bit of business understanding, a little bit of preparation before you do. These are creator economy networks. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I'm not talking about Twitter because, uh, yeah, Twitter is trying to build that, but it is not yet there. So, uh, yes, if you're trying to try, trying to crack those platforms, get in touch with Ishleen. I'll, I'll let her know how, how to crack them. Yeah, thank you so much, Nagovita, for saying that. And, you know, I would really say that from business perspective, LinkedIn is one such platform that can really get you good number of leads. I've got all my leads through LinkedIn. And you have also pointed out something very, very important, which is don't seek perfection in what you are doing. Most of the times I've seen people, they don't put videos because they say, oh, my video was not very good. You know, that's why I deleted it. Then they are, they'll keep on editing and editing and editing. I'll tell you one thing, anything that is original connects better. If I'm speaking something and I spoke something wrong and I say, oh, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. So that is completely okay. We all are human beings. Yeah. We are bound to make mistakes. When we are seeking perfection, we will we yeah. will feel demotivated. After a particular time, we'll feel, no, this platform is not made for me. No, I cannot do this. I have seen people, if you go to their profiles, the kind of videos they were posting five years back, no? They were the worst test videos that one can ever make. But still they did it. For a perfect yeah. video to come out, it will take at least 100 videos. But you have to make yeah. those 100 yeah. first. You cannot yeah. directly Absolutely. make 101 video. You have to make 100 first. Absolutely. 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 Ishleen, I, I love what you're saying because this is exactly what works. And this is the, this is the business secret. Right. right. For me, if I have to create a video, I create on any topic, 
I create the way I would love to watch it. Mm. I know it is it is very uh, it is very short term. It is very short sighted. But trust me, if I love to watch it, then probably my my viewers who associate with me would love to watch it as well. I do not need to make a video like any of these influencers or any of those YouTubers who are making it. I do not want to fall in the uh, in that uh, league. I would rather create it for me. I I love to watch it. Watch it so many times. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, and, and so are my viewers. Yes, and when it comes to creating any kind of content for any social media platform, if your content is original, if you are putting something which is yeah. creative, it is bound to get views. It is bound to get you know people yes. definitely like it. So be original. Be yes. Genuine. Don't try to copy other people who are doing the same thing. Because you know yeah, when you try yeah, to copy yeah. something, your audience can make it out. They'll make out that you are trying to pretend to be somebody whom you are not. So true. So true. And you know, so you also true. So about... true. Love, love what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And you know what? You know what? When you talked about influencers, yes, getting mm-hmm. collaborated with influencers can really help you. But you have to be somewhere to do that. you cannot uh, just simply start you know depending upon influencers because they will charge you something so you cannot directly mm-hmm. uh, you know depend on influencers start on mm-hmm. your own once you reach a particular level then obviously there are so many other things you can do then when i talk about yeah. linkedin as well no linkedin is such platform where we have all sorts of people if your business is b2b mm-hmm. you can sell it there if your business is b2c yes facebook and instagram yeah. are better yeah. as compared to linkedin but still your linkedin profile facebook profile instagram profile they build your credibility they build your authority True. people can google you anywhere and they can see what you are actually doing then when it comes to community building and networking there is one more thing that i feel most of the people ignore it which is yes they keep on putting their content their efforts but they don't engage much with the community so what what are your thoughts on this nobita Okay, uh, Ishwin, you you put your question so brilliantly that my train of thoughts was exactly at this point. You said influencers at an early point is not exactly the right idea. Give let me give you an example. Uh, to many of my clients, right? I'm not talking about just women. I'm talking about big heavy investment uh, companies, right? Mm-hmm. What I suggested them is nothing against influencers. I'm an influencer too. I'm grateful, but then. engage the people who uses or who believes in your product right. trust me their network right would be a lot more loyal to a lot more of credibility than engaging some somebody who may not use the product but is collaborating for certain business reason hmm. this worked a lot better right people who have uh, let's say whatever i mean whatever whatever product you may have as a, as, as a business person end user get them on the show right talk to them uh, write about them include them in your um, in your twitter tag them on your twitter with permission obviously if they are willing to share trust me when they are sharing uh, when they use it uh, this is this is a this is a insight i am giving you when somebody uses a product they are passionate about it people just don't spend on something they are they are already into it which is why they are spending that money over something else hmm. you i mean tap into that passion once you are in i mean in the same uh, i mean in the same uh, platform in the same level with that passion passion they will share it with people who believes in them and who believes in the similar kind of usage hmm. that network will bring in loyalty to reach then you can think trust me uh, at the end of the day reach is all about the um, the the end selling right the end point which is sell conversion is what you are looking at focus on that reach is excellent numbers are excellent that's exactly where your sponsors come from which you where your uh, where your power come from but then it's the conversion if you have a say 100 people reach but you're selling minimum of 40 to 60 units a day you are a lot better than a person with a million reach trust me you're a lot better so focus on that and it is not too hard i mean if you focus on this way it is actually much easier much safer way to uh, i mean to build your business yes you need a lot of time and patience yes you'll you'll have to it's a, it is not easy as spending 
I'm spending on sponsor sport. It is it is it is much uh, it is much uh, hard working process, but it will get you more far stronger results and repeat buying big which is something that you need the most you need repeat buying you just don't need them to buy your product once or buy your service once mm -hmm. so yes and you know when it comes to repeat buying obviously connection building is extremely important if you have built a right kind of connection with your customer with your clients they are going to repeat buy if your product satisfied their need if your product solves their problem they are going to buy it again but Again, yeah. connection building is really important. You know, what I have seen is there are so many people who sell things, but they don't talk about what people want. Their product is excellent. They have the best quality product. They have the best kind of thing, but they don't connect with people because they are talking from their perspective. They are not talking what audience want to hear. So you have to, you know, uh, rebuild your conversations around how your product is going to help the customer how your product is going to solve the problem of the customer. If you do it this way, obviously you'll connect with the customer in a better way. It will give you more convergence. It will give you, you know, repeat buying long-term customers and the loyalty is also built in that way. So there are so many strategies and techniques that people use. And this is not the right place to talk about all the strategies and all. But yes, connection building is extremely, extremely important. This is one part of your sales Okay, uh, so Navamita, tell us one more thing. How does your organization help people in building the community, in networking with other people? Okay, I'll give you a story, right? And it is directly connected to the point that you just made, right? To any business owner who is listening to you, uh, please please contact Lislin. Uh, she, she's right. she's on the right track. Let me give you a story. I hope you'll remember it. Pology, we all remember Pology, right? It's such a product. I mean, it's everywhere, right? What happened to Pology was till 2020 March, right? Pology was on a path of demise, mm -hmm. right? They were, there were, if you can go back and touch the internet, there were four several articles on how the Pology is not doing, the biscuit is not doing well, cannot survive ITC and other uh, MNC brand, which is why it was on the path of closure. Right. A company, 65 year old company was on the path of closure. Then something happened. Right. Lockdown and sudden immigration. Right. The entire uh, the entire lot of people who were traveling on road or who were traveling to for their home, they couldn't find food everywhere. The 10 rupees palaji is actually a meal which served those millions move around. This is a this is a business secret, which probably palaji knew but had not tapped into it. Parleji is not a biscuit, it is a meal. Mm. And that say, changed the future of the company. It, it not just revived, it actually came back a lot stronger because now it doesn't pose as a biscuit with, a, uh, with an ITC or some other brand. It poses as a meal for 10 rupees. It appeals to people as their meal. Mm. You do not know what your product does. It's the end user who will tell, come and tell you what your product does. So just what Ishlin mentioned about that, listen to what they are saying, talk to what, talk about what they are using it for. That is your messaging. That's exactly what we do. Evangelism is all about that. Hmm. I can give you examples of uh, products, right? Uh, and uh, a tech company, right? Which uh, a service tech company, which was which was doing pretty well in its own, uh, but then reached a bottleneck. What happened with the bottleneck was the market cap was uh, too low and the the co competitors were making more announcement in terms of business reach and business numbers. So this particular company, let me call it company A, was not able to land any new client and was losing the existing clients. That, that's exactly where we started working with them. We, we helped them create a community, right? Community of business owners, the decision makers, essentially. And we started what exactly do they need right we did not try selling anything on that community we were not talking about any product or any kind of uh, sales commission anything about that we were just listening to the business owners on what they are using and where is the gap and what exactly do they need mm. that gave us enough information enough insight to create product which was uh, which was customized to exactly uh, down to their last minute requirement and we piloted trust me that became a turn
for that particular company and they came in not just with new clients but old clients signing up for them for much greater businesses because the the degree of empathy that they had shown with this new product was a big game changer big ticket big business lot newer business all things opened up this is exactly what we do we uh, we have a lot of community based uh, forum discussions and think tanks right our think tanks are um, our think tanks are all about solving business problem uh, any any kind of an issue which the uh, which the owner cannot really uh, brainstorm or couldn't couldn't find a solution as, as a bottleneck we bring those bottlenecks on table and that's exactly what we talk about we bring the uh, we are grateful to the uh, the, the policy makers who join in to talk about the solutions at their, their their level that that impacts a lot because when they bring in a solution uh, other agencies or other institution related get to work and we bring the institutional owners we, we bring the uh, the agency owners and of course any kind of process owners that is required and we get them get them to solve the problem this is exactly what we do. and uh, that that's the, i mean that's that's our business uh, you said you will, it is not a uh, proper for forum to talk about strategy but still i have already given you <laughs> on yes. to explore more later ishlin later <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so Navamita, thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, uh, what tips would you like to give to our audience who are listening to you? How can they build their community? How can they use their community in a way that increases their revenue, increases their sales and helps them in scaling their business? Okay, um, Ishrin, first and foremost, as we have been discussing, a community is all about empathy. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind that, uh, you, yes, the sales is the end result, but that will that should happen on its own. That's exactly how you're going to work with your community. Mm -hmm. Your community is essentially all about listening. Your community is essentially all about problem solving. Mm -hmm. Once that gets to that level, right? What to understand is what gets the money on the table, mm -hmm. right? That that's again a very different business business intelligence that you require. Once you crack it, best opportunity for you to sell sell. Trust me. Facebook, I mean, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, I know many many business street leaders would write it off, but I I have seen people who are street fast about their uh, buying decisions hmm. actually buy it because they suddenly on LinkedIn people don't even talk about what exactly any I'm not even if it is a software even if it is a uh, something related to business they don't talk about it. But then on Facebook they might just mention in a in a friendly chatter they might just mention something and that alone is enough. That alone can influence a lot of lot of people around them into the buying decision. Mm. So think about, I mean, explore your uh, your platforms, explore your um, your channels accordingly, strategize. It is uh, trust me, I um I would want to quote him right. He is Acharya Balakrishna from Patanjali, right? The man who created thousand crore business, uh, give teaching a lesson to the MNCs with lot bigger. A uh, lot bigger funding, right? Because what he created was the last mile reach and engagement, right? He, I had spoken to him. He, he, uh, he said that how how he wanted to build a community. I had shared certain insights with him. I'm grateful he listened to me, and he he appreciated that this is exactly what he had been asking his team to do, and he had been he had been doing through the kind of business that he has created. Hmm. Keep that in mind. That's it. That's all what you need. If you have a loyal, I mean, a loyal group of people who are listening to you and whom you are listening to, you have your market right there. Right, right. And uh, what I've seen is this is a mistake that many business owners make. They join a particular community, whether it is a WhatsApp group or a Facebook group or LinkedIn or Instagram, whatever. They start selling right away. They'll just start promoting the product, buy the software, buy the service, buy this product, which is not going to work. When we talk about community, you have to add value to the community. Then only you can expect something in return. You cannot simply go and do hard sell and expect people that, okay, I have joined this community, so they should buy from me. Why should they buy from you in the first place? What value are you going to provide to them? It all matters. Provide value to people so that they themselves come to you and ask you, okay, what is your product all about? 
you have your customer mm-hmm. yeah. right in front of you you don't have to put in any yeah. effort to make the sale and what you are doing is yeah. you are simply just trying to sell something then you do a follow up and everything and people stop stop picking up your calls people stop re- uh, replying to your messages this is what actually happens so you are not making yeah. any connection you are not providing any value to people get value yeah. to people yeah. and you know uh, what yeah. i believe and i strongly believe in this in a country like india we really respect and we revert to people who give us something i don't know whether we are conditioned in such a way that if you have provided me something if you have given me something i'm going to revert it so we are conditioned yeah. in such a way so why do you do yeah. something for people first and then expect something in return why don't you why do you directly go okay i have this product why do you buy it okay tell me one thing if you and me are very close friends i buy that product for the first time just for the sake because we are friends but i'm not going to buy it every time <laughs> exactly 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 so very true so very true actually i'll give you an example or to the a business example to what you just said uh, uh i i should say a ecom company reached out to us because they were app based they were engagement based and they had a very low readership on their um, emailers hmm. if you know emails are a big big part of the revenue right so a low uh, a low opening of uh, a low readership in emailers could could actually be a death sentence hmm. to a... so that that's exactly we started working with them hmm. what we created was not emailers but converse, conversations right uh, literally depending on the kind of product that you have hmm. we created emailers as if we are talking to each and every people who whom the emailer has been sent mm-hmm. it was personalized to with the language and the empathy and the kind of uh, tonality and the vibe everything was personalized to that down to that level if mm-hmm. uh, since they have user we do we know their their certain days we used to send not just those uh, not just those dumb notific notifications but real notifications that oh wow it's your birthday can we come and party with you mm-hmm. something like that right something we know we are not going to party with them they are not going to invite us but them receiving a message like that they would just said created an option for them generally emailers do not have an option to answer back we created an right. op- option to answer back so sometimes we used to just receive really really late retorts then we used to take permission and say that uh can we share it because you're really funny and people need to know what just happened some mm-hmm. of them agreed we went and shared it trust me we had 300% increase in the readership and that impacted on higher downloads for the email, for the app this is exactly how you build a product this is exactly how you uh, build a community you don't sell yourself you listen So, right right absolutely you were on point and, and you know drip uh, drip campaigns email campaigns are a very good platform that really increases your revenue and sales but again you have to build connection via them again you cannot yeah. simply hard sell so if you are sending yeah. emails like i would say if you are sending emails 6 days in a week 5 days has to be a connection building six mm-hmm. you can you can give them something to do like if you if you are interested if to know more about our services reply back to this email click on the link go to our website uh, send us a whatsapp message whatever but at least five days you have to provide value value then only you can connect with people and this is yeah. a wonderful way of doing that and email campaigns have brought very good results for a lot more people if they are done in the right way like the email yeah. opening rate has to increase only if i read something which really appeals me like if you are telling me okay open this for my product inside nobody is going to open it but if it is something here is a birthday wish for you like you just said obviously i would open it i would see okay what is inside so you have to design it in a very effective way and you are doing a great job in that novamita so uh, novamita that has brought me to the end of today's podcast what message would you like to give to our audience in terms of community building networking and how can they actually leverage it to the benefit of their business so sweet of you okay again right community building is daunting community building is mundane right every day every minute you cannot keep i mean you will have of motivation and there are ebbs and flows right sometimes there would be high engagement sometimes there would be low engagement sometimes there would be certain things that actually drives your uh, your own i mean your own drive low 
right? Your your own motivation in order to run the community. Right. I'll give you an example. The email campaign that we that I that we just spoke about. Mm. Yes, we had to send it seven days a week. Mm. Seven days a week, you cannot have real good content for seven days. Seven days a week, you cannot send uh, e-books. Seven days a week, you cannot send some kind of a good content to read about. So once in a week, one, once or twice in a week, you used to do things like this. That well, if you have opened this email yourself up go and smile in front of the mirror and if you did that just send us a smiley emoji mm. as simple as that right it doesn't mean anything right it doesn't need anything it doesn't offer anything it's just a one minute activity right most of it most of our users actually sent a smiley the moment they sent a smiley we had someone from our team mm. right since we initiated this kind of Someone from our team, if it was a gender based, if it was a woman, we sent, uh, we asked a woman member that, oh, wow, you're smiling, I'm smiling at back at you. Picture, send it back. Mm. They used to refer to it with a picture. You will not believe the kind of, I mean, this did not make us brainstorm for a great content. This did not, did not make us buy some uh, ebooks, right? Mm. This was just a fun based and the entire team loved it because they were also doing it they were also taking the pictures sending it oh wow you're smiling and smiling back at you mm. so that's the kind of engagement that's the kind of uh you have to put yourself in you cannot just see it as a business you cannot just see it a money-making venture you have to realize the other person opening that email is a human being might be going through a lot of things and this is your one second option to create a, a difference in their life. So how would you want to create? You do need to have a budget. You just need to have a lot, lot more of fun mm. and make them have fun too. That's it. Right. Right. And this is something very important. If you have a budget, please go and hire somebody as good as Nobumita who can handle it. And if you don't have a budget, then you can simply do, you know, this is something very, very powerful that you have just shared. You know, just smiling back and sending it back to a person, it really builds a connection. And when you were sharing it, even I was smiling. So I would say if you have the skills to build the community, please go ahead and build it. If you don't have the skills, hire somebody who can really help you in that. But in the terms when you know everything is going online, community building and networking is something that is the need of the hour. You cannot skip community building and networking if you are a business owner. It is really going to help you in building your business, in scaling your business. Thank you so much, Novomita, for being on the show. And it was my pleasure indeed that you were here. What an honor. Thank you so much to you and to all my amazing business owners there. Trust me, you will only find your flaws. You will only be, even the best of the things will, will come to you as challenges, right? As rejections. Every conversation will start with the no. And that's exactly where it begins.